a really quick and easy quiz. And I'm going to show you how to use this using a Juca Play. So if I go to the site, here it is here, and uh, the fill blanks section is here. Let me just change it to English, and I'm going to call it water pressure, and uh, let's just put in some instructions. Complete the gaps by dragging in the words on the right hand side. So there we go. Uh, I'm going to go and choose a topic. It's physics. And here we are. And I guess it's probably year 12. Right then, on to the making of the quiz. Well, like all the other quizzes, there are some options that you can include. Let's have a look at these. So this bit here is where I'm going to write the text. Uh, I can choose two attempts. I can do a time limit. And either the students can write in the answer or click the answer. So the right answer is quite good because obviously it's a more differentiated task and slightly more of a challenge. Let's go on and add in um, the words. So here is the text to be filled. Now, the reason why I like the missing words is this is what I can do. If I go to my PowerPoint and I can go and get one of the PowerPoints that I use uh, to explain to the students, like this one here with some bullet points, and I can just simply highlight this and copy it, then go back in and paste it in. And now I've got the notes from my presentation that can then form a missing words task. So students can reinforce their understanding by doing the same task as they have watched from my presentation. So those are my uh, sentences and to make it maybe slightly easier I could probably space them out like this but I'm happy with that. If I press send the task is almost ready to go and then what I have here are the exact same sentences but in boxes and all I do is I click in the words for the words to become the missing ones. So water pressure, I'm going to hide that one, and then I'm going to hide this one, uh, and then I'm going to change this one. Um, I'm going to change this one, and this one, and then I'm going to choose that one, and I'm happy with those missing words. Let's press send to complete the task. I'm going to preview it over here, see what it looks like this up so you can see it. Here we go. Two tries. And there we are. There, are. there are my statements. Here are my words. And I can just simply drag them over or click on them, I should say, as I go through them. And you can see as I go through, I've got my various scores. I can click check at any time and it'll tell me whether they are right or wrong. So that is how to do the um, missing words section. Uh, to add it into Farfly, simply double click on the insert feature, copy that code, go back into Farfly, select embed, paste in the code, click done, and there we go.